Welcome back. Uh, so our next presentation is from Ricardo Tomasi and Fernando Cozu. Ricardo is a Brazilian composer, performer, researcher, and music producer who works in the contemporary music scene in sound art and music education. He is an undergraduate professor of music at the State University of Londrina and a PhD student in the area of creative musical processes at the University of Sao Paulo, Brazil. Fernando Cozu uh, is a composer and teacher. He holds a degree in music at the State University of Londrina. He's a specialist in the history and philosophy of science, and he has a master's degree in communication and semiotics with a dissertation on the complexity of compositional thought of Brian Fernio. He is assistant professor of the undergraduate music course at UEL, working mainly in the area of language and musical structuring. So their presentation today is titled Study for the Ecosemic Esto ecosystemic guitars, apologies, the electroacoustic improvisation in the sound emergence minefield, which is collaborative research uh, in progress that searches for creative expansions that interrelate contemporary electric guitar and ecosystemic sound feedback approaches through live electronic performances. And you would have heard their performance earlier today in the set. Welcome both Ricardo and Fernando. Yes, thank you, Amy. Uh, I will share my screen. Yes, sure. And present. So, hello everyone. I'm Tomasi. Uh, um, me and Fernando Cozo were present in our research that, that we have, uh, have been developing over two years that we call study for ecosystemic guitars. In short, we are dealing with prepared guitars into the context of the audible ecosystems, where both are connected by sound feedback loop. Uh, we believe that dealing with the instability created by the emergent structures, we can think um, about musical performance by other perspectives. Uh, so we have the triangulation. Uh, on one side, the audible ecosystems, uh, the other, the prepared guitar, and the sound feedback at the top as the paradigmatic convergence point. Yeah. Uh, we will follow the presentation in three steps. First, I will talk about the ecosystemic perspective. Uh, next, Fernando will, will talk about prepared guitar. And, and so we will talk about the ecosystemic guitars itself. Uh, among the several points that worth highlights when we talk about ecosystemic perspective applied in music performance and creation, there's one that we consider more special for our research, uh, is that the inclusion of the acoustic environment in the system. First of all, because it breaks the duality of uh, performing instruments, um, opening now to a triangular approach, which uh, we have the performer, the instrument, and the acoustic environment. Consequently, uh, we move towards a non-neutrality of acoustic spaces, whether they are a big room, resonant body of a guitar, uh, or a headphones. It means uh, that we don't have a portable work of music anymore. Once, when we change the environment, we change the whole system. Also, it brings to foreground the physicality of the objects that compose such systems, cables, microphones, speakers, walls, chairs, curtains, etc. They all become surface of interaction by touching. We have many examples of ecosystemic application in musical purpose, most of all sharing a kind of controlled feedback system now here we have uh, a generic model um, where we can see the, the loop passing through the environment and analyzer that regulates the system. Uh, among the controlled feedback systems, we have a special one, the audible ecosystems created by Agostino de Schippe. Here, uh, the sound is the main interface of interaction. And at the same time, the interactions produce the sound that we're here. So it's the loop. The sound produces interactions and the interactions produce the sounds. In short, 
we have low level elements that are connected by sound feedback loop, where the subsequent interactions limited by the component's behavior and physicality creates the sound events. So this is an ecosystem where the interactions can be heard, audible ecosystems. The feedback loop has a very important role here. The ecosystem starts with the loop that produces the Larsen tones, uh, the microphones. Uh, these tones are sound emergence of the connected components qualities, what means their physical and behavioral capabilities, and the quality of their respective interactions once they can also interact by other ways, and this will change everything. Uh, here we have the illustration. Uh, the microphone uh, captures the same song, the same sound the speaker is producing. And we have the loop that produces the Larsen tones, the microphones. Uh, this picture uh, of a peak analysis of the moment when the feedback loop starts. Uh, on the left, we have the background noise, now only the air fluctuations, uh, microphone noises, uh, uh, no order system at all, so speaking. Uh, and next, uh, as long as you have the iterations, uh, at each circle of the loop, some qualities come to foreground for many reasons, and they become uh, attractor points or gravita gravitational centers, directing the system's organization flow. So, Larsen tones, uh, the microphones, appear as an odd order structure emerged from the system self-organization. Next, we have the whole picture, uh, the zoom area. Uh, and once we have controlled the feedback loop, enable it to produce the sound frequency, but without saturate the system, uh, it starts to unfold the spectrum. Uh, we've created harmonies, uh, beautiful harmonies, uh, like drone pedals. And now I will pass the word to Fernando Cuso. Okay. Uh, well, I uh, I now research uh, with an experimental guitar, electric guitar, and this experiment with Tomasi. Uh, specifically, uh, the idea is mixture uh, booth uh, experiment, and is a great influence of the Keith Rowe's Poetics. Uh, but, uh, well, Keith Rowe is considered the pioneer in the use of the table topic prepared guitar and the, in, and the new practice of electroacoustic improvisation, in addition to being one of the founders of the British group AMM of free improvisation in the mid 1960s. Due to the influence of his training in music and visual arts, Rowe will appropriate the, ide the ideas of Dadaism cubism, like collages, assemblage, and objet trouvé, and the action painting of Pollock to think of the guitar as a canvas on the table. Uh, according to Onlywick, uh, by being able to see his instrument as formal visual element framed by the generally rectangular tables upon which you would lie, how we could attempt to incorporate structural elements via the guitar's interaction with the various accoutrements that would amass over the years from a visual aspect and educe musical aesthesia from them, blurring the boundaries between forms. Two important practical and aesthetic consequences from this other stance in relation to instrument. First, distance the instrument from direct, direct contact with the body and move it away by placing it in front of the eye on the table, eyes on the table, as a way of suspending gestural habits and musical memory in relation to conventional ways of playing a guitar, at the same time opening up an entirely new and vast area of choices, which would have less to do with the specific instrument involved and more with the group or environment sound as such, 
a recession into the kind of egolessness that would become a vital important element of the electroacoustic improvisation. Uh, second, uh, by laying objects atop the guitar, the listener is hearing more de their interaction with the instrument than an intentional authority of a structural form or idea. So if he laid down a tin can on top of his amplifier strings, he might have a general idea of what sort of sound would like result, but never quite an exact one, much less how it might sound if he gave the can a kick. You could also lay, you could also lay the instrument in such a position to generate varying amounts and timbres of feedback, supplying an ongoing drone while you would be able to move on to another sound generator. Well, okay, uh, what do we call it? Calling a minefield field can be described as follows. Refers to an environment with latent or sound emergence as a whole, including both interpreters, human or non-human, as well as all objects and things in a specific environment capable of producing sounds from the smallest sensitive movements. The use of microphones and various pickups, amplification and feedback systems are decisive elements to create the degrees of salience and activation of the space in order to prepare the entirely latent atmosphere. And if, we, if it were a minefield that triggers diversified sounds from movements and molecular vibrations between the existing things in all locations, be it a subtle touch of the fingers on some surface or a breeze of air from some breath, Bursts, explosions, bursting, crackling as modes of interference, escapes, opportunities to transgress and change the condition of, a syst of the system. In the performance with prepared guitar, mind field and feedback, there is a direct relationship between objects, strings, pickups, exciters, amplifiers, mediated by an integrated perception between ways of seeing, touching, hearing, feeling, with the whole body environment. It's like Jonathan Impet's concept of active sound space. The moment of emission of an acoustic sound, of its production by the acoustic coupling of a complex human system of vibration and resonance with an instrument. The surface of a particular instantiation is determined by a set of interacting dynamical system, the action of the performer, perform environment, a technological setup, assemblage, and a particular context. Okay. Posso seguir? Mm -hmm. So, now, uh, the study for ecosystemic guitars. Uh, we have, so, the these two paradigms, the ecosystems and the prepared guitars connected by feedback loop. In our early experiments, um, we are searching for ways to explore these connections creatively, creating multiple chains of feedback and exploring the objects of the whole room as surfaces for interaction. It's worth highlight that we are not interacting by audio descriptors or MIDI protocol approaches. Uh, but through the physicality of the objects, the surfaces, because here the acoustic environment become a big hub in this network. Um, in this picture, uh, the solid lines represent the acoustic flow and the dashed lines, the digital electro or analog signals, now or non-acoustic signals. Uh, here we have two microphones um, one capturing the acoustic environment and a contact microphone uh, placed over the, the acoustic guitar, capturing its local resonance, but not the environment. The connection between acoustic guitar and the environment is made by response of the acoustic body itself. All signals uh, sent to the DSP process pass through the acoustic environment. We have two speakers 
that creates two different loops with the condenser microphone and DSP. And an output to pedal board that sends a signal directly to guitar amplifier, uh, which have a direct impact on, on its local feedback. Uh, the sounds produced by guitar and by Fernandos uh, influence the system behavior once they are inside the acoustic environment uh, and, and its energy enters more or less in all chains of this network. Okay, uh, let's listen to a, a, a little research here. So this harmony is created by acoustic resonance. And here is the acoustic guitar with the contact microphone. Vidro Mola e Ecosistemas Remotos, uh, Glass Spring and Remote Ecosystems, is a more consistent work uh, to us pres present here uh, early. First of all, we had uh, a big problem caused by our pandemic scenario. Once we cannot stay together in the same place anymore. Uh, and this breaks the triangular essentiality of our work, the performer, the instrument, and the environment. So we connected two acoustic environments uh, remotely, bringing to us an ecosystem with three environments coupled. My room, Fernando Coso's room, and the Ethernet, you know, nobody's land. Uh, the final recording is a, a mix of the two local rooms and the Ethernet recording. Uh, the audio signals had to be carefully calibrated so we had a, a relatively stable signal feedback between the two rooms. We created a, a, a very complex local networks in these rooms that allow us to perform directly with the topology of these multiple feedback chains. However, uh, I believe uh, the guitar side is more relevant for this presentation. So uh, I pass the word to Fernando again. Okay, and this is the uh, setup I define for this presentation and focusing on different types of glasses and the spring, springs and uh, one electric guitar and electric bass, wow. four effect uh, pedals. Uh, and uh, this, but in fact, I, I don't necessarily need to think about using all the objects and elements chosen and define it in the performance during improvisations. And I can also choose it to use it undefined things like a radio or a violin bow, etc. The most important are not exactly the meticulous choices of all objects and devices for a given performance, but there is such flexibility in the intentions of improvisation between the availability of sound sources and the production of a certain sound flow from these sources, that the most relevant are all the moods and feelings of the moment, the here and now of each present in con constant relationship 
with the holy atmosphere of the other sound, visual and climatic events of the environment. Uh, here, improvisation function like a composition by ear in real time or with position as a reciprocal positioning with the other in a mutable and heterogeneous web of sounds and sonic passages difficult to hear, usually reject or unnoticed and which we do not pay attention to, like perception of micro nuances on the threshold, audible and transformations, sounds in pianissimo, extremely low or high, a subtle vibration or fluctuation of volume or pitch or timbre, mass or color, or very small durations, agitated and restless atoms of grains, or degrees of speed and intensity, directionality or scattered fragments, cause mobility, infinite time, hesitations or precipitations, sometimes texture of flowers, now of shrapnel, shrapnel, more or less velvety or metallic, now more dense, now more horrified, nuances of convictions or uncertainty, uncertainties or of mobility at the ear, sometimes left, sometimes right, above, below, or deeply like sirens in the distance, oceans of sounds, parts of science, cosmic noises. Uh, okay, next. Uh, okay. Você vai falar sobre as figuras? The visual <laughs> aspect. Mm -hmm. uh, no, I saw just uh, examples of the Uh, all the setup I use mm -hmm. is it's uh, uh, I feel confused, but this is one aspect of the the idea. So, uh, mm -hmm. uh, so uh, let's go next. Oh yes. Yeah, if you could stop uh, sharing your screen, that would be great. Uh, but this is not. Um, so I just want to invite questions um, from Facebook and also from the Zoom room. You can just turn your mic and camera on if you'd like to ask a question. But I just want to say that uh, the music that you're making is incredibly beautiful. I had never heard of someone talk about beautiful harmonies, beautiful harmonics in feedback before, but I completely agree with it. It's quite mesmerizing um, and very delicate, I think. Um, I can imagine that it took quite a lot of experimentation to find the right balance of everything. So as you said, uh, the feedback wouldn't overwhelm the system and you would get what you wanted. Um, can you talk a little bit about how long the experimentation took or um, what were the main factors in choosing the objects that you chose? Okay. Um, like this. Um, The experimentation uh, sometimes is very long, uh, like uh, uh, 40 minutes, uh, sometimes very short. Uh, but uh, uh, usually more longer than the, the, the video we, we have sent to you. Um, about the objects, uh, Fernando can talk about. Uh, in the side of the guitar, uh, experiments with the feedback is always uh, a very uh, uh, difficult to uh, uh, fix. Uh, fix it. Uh, uh, it's like an intuitive approach of the experiments because uh, any few uh, uh, transformation with the setup, it uh, uh, causes, causes a, a transformation in the, res, uh, the sound resulting. And uh, the feedback is uh, 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 most the part uh, uh, with the unpredictable results uh, and the harmonies uh, is uh, uh, like an And project that uh, to hear this var various types of 
combination with all uh, all kind of the objects you can uh, integrate with the instrument. And it's a ocean of infinite possibilities that for explore. Um, so uh, I just wanted to say uh, that uh, I don't see any questions online at the moment, but I do want to say this is incredibly beautiful work. So thank you so much to the both of you. Um, it was really lovely to listen to you today. Thank you again. And we're going to take a few minutes before we go to our next presentation. Okay. Thank you, Amy. Thank you, everyone. Thank you.